everyone welcome back in this video lecture we'll learn about uh, applying aggregations on a spark structured stream let me create an uh, object file and create a main method now let me create a spark session and uh, set logger level to error now we'll be working with the same data set which we have worked earlier in our previous uh, video lectures on uh, uh, streaming structure streaming transformations and structure streaming introduction let me create the schema uh, which is required for the data structure over here now uh, so val stream data spark dot read stream and uh, dot option in this I will be explaining a new option uh, in our uh, job the new option would be uh, let me just read the file CSP and uh, now when we are working with the streamer one important thing which uh, we should not forget is applying the schema otherwise our spark stream uh, job itself won't start uh, so after read stream i should apply the schema as well the schema of uh, the data is retail data schema now as i was mentioning uh, i'll be showing a new op uh, new option uh, here which is called max files per trigger so and I'll, I'll update this as two right now what exactly is trigger uh, I'll explain in my future videos uh, but this option for this particular video you just have to remember that whenever spark reads this particular directory it reads maximum of two files per batch got it i'll reiterate again whenever spark reads this particular directory spark reads maximum of two files per batch right now what does this mean i'll explain uh, in uh, in a while so i have my stream ready right now and uh, once my stream is ready let me create uh, uh, aggregate data filter aggregate uh, data this is my data frame which i'd be working with uh, stream data now for this i'll uh, just filter let me open the data set this is the data set if you are not aware of where to download this data set or where to get this data set there are two two options uh, you can uh, check out my github repository where i'll be updating all my data sets which i'll be using in the series at the same time uh, you can also check out my previous videos on spark uh, uh, structure streaming introduction where i have uh, seen how to handle this data structure and what exactly this uh, data set is now uh, let me uh, filter the data uh, with a quantity of more than uh, uh, 10 so quantity greater than 10 now to apply aggregations uh, what kind of aggregations I would like to apply on this data uh, let's suppose uh, I want to have uh, country wise uh, total sales per date per every day right per every day for every invoice date I would like to get country wise so uh, total uh, sales uh, suppose uh, on date of 12th for uh, 2011 uh, I would like to know uh, which country made how much sales uh, um, on on my uh, retail uh, store so to do that uh, first thing would I have to do is I have to group by uh, my stream data based on uh, uh, invoice date as well as country right this is what uh, I want to have uh, aggregated uh, results on top of my uh, invoice date and my uh, country wise uh, sales so let me group the data based on uh, invoice uh, uh, date and uh, country country capital C okay now uh, there is a, a slight uh, change at my might have to say it's not a uh, wrong thing but uh, I want to make this uh, 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 look straightforward see here uh, my invoice date is just a date right it doesn't it is not a timestamp 
but whereas in my schema i have mentioned it as a timestamp it doesn't stop the job from running but again uh, let's keep the things uh, consistent right so let me put this as date type over here i have my timestamp as a separate column so there is no point in having uh, date as also timestamp right so so let me just uh, change the type and uh, i'll be grouping my data with invoice date as well as with on country now here once we have this group by condition whatever operations we perform on it would be aggregate operations right so i'll i'll do the aggregate operations and i want to get the sum of all the sales right so sales wise where i have i can get it i have something called unit price which is the price of this particular product right uh, so i want to do sum based on uh, group uh, invoice date as well as country so i'll do sum on my column unit price now uh, this sum is the function uh, which i have to import from my sql functions spark sql functions uh, import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot uh, functions dot sum this is the one which you have so suppose if you don't know what are the functions which are available for aggregate or what are the functions uh, uh, that are that are supported by spark there are there is always two options the first best option is to go through the documentation of uh, Spark uh, Scala API or Spark uh, Python API if you are working on PySpark. Uh, so go through the API of uh, Spark. Uh, uh, then you'll, you'll see what are the functions which are available over there. Go to Google and uh, search for uh, Apache Spark Scala API. As I'm working with Scala, I'll, I'll go with this. So, and now you can see here, uh, I can go to the scalar function the scalar api right here i can search for functions and you can see there are functions there is an uh, uh, <coughs> object called functions right these are the functions which are supported by spark right so one option is this one go through the documentation and see uh, which function you want to apply on and if you know the functions already and uh, uh, and if you are feeling a little bit lazy and you, you don't want to import each and individual function you can just do underscore uh, which will import all the functions which are there under this particular uh, file right uh, so for now uh, i have got this uh, as sum uh, i'm doing this uh, sum right now now i have my function uh, sum function uh, ready which is applied on on unit price now from here uh, either i can apply uh, uh, write stream directly on top of uh, directly on top of this uh, uh, function or aggregate function what i have applied or i can uh, stop over here i can take a quick halt and i can create a new variable uh, aggregate query you can work either way that is up to totally up to you uh, where and how you how you want to work to keep things tidy right i would suggest you to go with individual uh, blocks don't append uh, uh, all the things into one set of uh, huge statement it will be little difficult for someone else to understand your code clear right to make things tidy and to keep things tidy in your code i would suggest you to have uh, uh, blocks of uh, uh, code so this block what i have done i have just uh, initiated my uh, structured stream in this block i have just done uh, aggregations or filter functions on top of my stream and in this block i'll uh, create a sync uh, for my stream so uh, i have segregated each and everything into different uh, blocks so this block what i'll do i'll uh, just do aggregate data and in top of aggregate data i'll do write stream in write stream what first thing we have to mention format right in format i have to mention uh, I can mention either memory, sync, uh, memory, file, or uh, Kafka or anything. But right now, we are working uh, in the testing mode. I'll, I'll just uh, uh, try to print all the data using console sync. Right? The format is used to mention sync. Let me update here. Represents sync to be used. Okay. And now, <coughs> and now, uh, once the format is there and I have to mention output mode output mode in the output mode again there are three different uh, things one is append complete and update right uh, either you can go with append complete or update but uh, let me just go with complete as of now uh, and uh, once my uh, once I specify my output mode my output mode as well I can uh, start my streaming query I can start my query processing by mentioning start right 
now I have started my query once the query is uh, started I have to wait for termination of my uh, query explicitly so which I'd be mentioning as aggregate query dot await for termination right so this 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 is whole uh, ag aggregation this is the aggregation part which we are applying over uh, here and another important thing we are uh, trying to learn over here is max files per trigger uh, so let's uh, let's see what uh, what is this here we have uh, put max files per trigger as two right so what that means uh, let me go to my uh, directory i have files over here uh, let me delete these files and uh, now let me copy uh, 10 files or five let me copy 10 files over here 3 3 6 7 8 9 10 okay i have my 10 files over here so when when my spark application is started let me start the application as well right now <coughs> my spark streaming is started and it is waiting for the uh, directory to get the data now i have this 10 files right let me copy all the 10 files over here now what did we mention over here uh, to take two files per trigger that means in entire 10 files whatever we have uh, put over there it will consider two files as one batch so in 10 files if you want to have two files per batch how many batches will have five batches right hopefully there are five uh, ten things over here three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah oh, so totally we have five batches now our process uh, our uh, spark has uh, completed this pro uh, processing of this 10 files let's see how many batches we have this is batch number 0 1 2 3 and 4 right these are four different uh, five different uh, uh, batches it has worked on it takes two files into one batch and it pro completes the processing and again it will go for next two files and uh, starts the processing and uh, once this processing is done it will go for another next two files like this like this uh, it will keep on uh, uh, going two two batches per uh, uh, two two files per batch and it will complete all the 10 files processing right and another important thing what i have to explain over here is if, if you see this entire thing all the five batches whatever uh, spark has processed this entire uh, uh, entire uh, thing is considered into one particular window there is no specific uh, different windows that means uh, suppose uh, we have this this is the final batch output and this is a complete output of uh, all the 10 files right let me add another uh, file over here right here I have added only one file right right now uh, but still spark uh, spark is going to process this one file because we have mentioned maximum files per trigger that means it will go maximum of two files even if there is one file it will go ahead and uh, uh, process the particular file now there will be another batch process which is batch number five and uh, this this batch you can see it is uh, taking aggregations of this particular uh, thing this particular batch is aggregation of entire uh, spark uh, uh, entire spark session right whenever the spark session has started uh, pro uh, started spark streaming session has started from there till uh, the current time whenever it is processing it will it, uh, processing the current file all the files will be aggregated and this would be the final aggregate results of all the files which you have put over there right that uh, this entire spark session window uh, entire spark session streaming session would be considered as one giant window right but in this giant window we are processing uh, uh, micro batches like e each micro batch is having two files per batch right that's how it is uh, spark is uh, processing suppose you want to consider uh, uh, only certain point of, you don't want to consider entire spark streaming session as one uh, giant window but rather you want to consider uh, every 10 seconds as one uh, batch and you want to get aggregate operations on only uh, at 10 seconds or 20 seconds or let's consider one minute for every minute whatever data you receive for that particular data you want to get uh, uh, aggregate operations rather than getting aggregate operations of entire data or entire spark streaming data for for achieving this there is something called a windowed operations right which which i'll be explaining in my uh, upcoming uh, videos but for this video you can consider if you don't specify any window operations spark streaming will consider entire spark streaming session as one window and it will perform aggregate operations on entire window entire data and entire window right so this is how you apply aggregations on spark structured streaming
I hope you like this video guys and uh, that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, if you have uh, if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to the channel if you are uh, if you have liked this uh, video please do give a thumbs up and share the video and spread the knowledge uh, thanks guys and uh, see you in the next video bye